What is up, maniacs, and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's having a great one. Today, we're going to be hopping in, and I will be showing you guys the easiest way to get to Diamond. And I am on the road to Diamond 1. But with this deck that I will show you guys, it was the most insanely easy way to get to Diamond. Honestly, I had a little bit of trouble, but once I dialed it in, it was a wrap. It was super easy. So stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll go over the deck list. But if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to it for some more awesome gameplay and make sure to slap that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this deck. It is the easiest way to climb to diamond. But nonetheless, let's hop right into it. So of course, we're going to be using the Numeron deck and you always want to go second. And for the most part, I go second in ranked maybe 90% of the time. So I was like, I need a deck that works very well in going second. We're going to start off with the DD Crow, but little did I know its effect still goes through. So he was able to special summon the Mo Yi. All right. Shows the Sword Soul Emergence. Gets the token. Okay. Gets the Grandmaster, of course. Sword Souls, pretty basic. You already know how they work. It's all good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just wait it out. But if you see in my hand, oof, the limiter removal comes in freaking clutch. Oh man. I did tweak this deck from my previous version and this one seems to be working way, way better. Gives you everything you need and nothing you don't course the Baron what a surprise all right I'm gonna take 1200 and that is all okay that is all what do we draw into of course the Numeron network that is a freaking top deck if I ever seen one we're gonna go ahead and negate the effects of the two monsters on the board get our Numeron network going um hello you forget that I just for the droplet hello okay I guess he forgot all right we're gonna go ahead and activate it two Special summon our Numeron monsters. Oh, well. Okay, sword. Um, Grandmaster, are you kidding me? Are you drunk? Go home. You can't use your effect. Hello? All right, limit removal. Let's go. All right, let's go ahead and get our attacks doubled. And let's do that again. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> you don't want to stick around to get smacked by 8,000. Holy moly. This deck has been consistently working. I think I went on a. 10 win streak and right as i was about to enter into diamond i had a little bit of a hiccup but it's all good so let's hop right into the next match and for our second match of course we always opt to go second even if we get the coin flip okay okay branded despia what a surprise what a surprise sword soul and then branded despia okay cross out of course when i get the chance to get the ash they cross out it are you serious? Why don't I get to have any fun? Why can't I make people rich with the freaking ash? Well, most of the time they have the answer and I do not. Okay, Brand Fusion. Of course, I wonder what they're going to make. Yep, the Searing Dragon. And I wonder what they are going to do next. What a surprise if it would happen to be a Mirror Jade. It's not a surprise. These decks basically all play the same. And I'm not saying that mine does not, but hey, if you could get around these like this deck does, <laughs> it works so good. All right, the Mirror Jade, alrighty. Okay, it's gonna use its effect. Banish the Alibur for some weird reason. Okay, cool. Whatever you get, it basically does not matter. He gets the max C. I guess he wants to draw. I think he believes that he's gonna have another turn. I think so. We all know very well that he does not. Okay, Brandon and Red get the Despy Tragedy. Okay. Very weird. Okay, the Preda Plant. Okay. He wants to get some negate going. Okay, cool. And he resummons the Mirror Jade. Of course, this would be a nice board if I didn't have the cards in hand that I have. So we're going to go ahead and. Imperm, the Mirror Jade, and then Forbidden Droplet, the Fred of Plant. Oh, yeah. Get our Numeron Network. Yeah. 
Okay, banish that for uh, what? Are you kidding me? I think you're gonna do what? For one, I had no monsters on the field, so you can't ban. Okay, whatever. All right, let's go ahead and activate our numero network. Maxi, yeah, go ahead, draw those cards, buddy. Have fun with that. Okay. Let's get him popping. Let's get him going. Um, Predator Plant, go home, you're drunk. Okay, let's pop our effect. Double our attack. And do that again. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Let's go ahead and double that attack again. And attack him for 8,000. Oh, yes. Gotta love the OTK. Even with the negating of his board with a pesky Predator Plant and Mirror Jade. It works super well. So let's hop right into the next match. And for our third match, going second is a must. It is key. Okay. Oh, look, Sword Souls yet again. Literally at the top, you see the basic same decks. It's all good. This deck can handle it all. Okay, Grandmaster. Of course, you're going to search out. Of course, you're going to get the strategist. We know. We've seen it. I use the Ash on the Mo Yi. So he doesn't draw a card, but he still searches out the strategist. Quite unfortunate because your boy didn't plan that one out too well. Okay, use the strategist effect. Okay, summon with the token. Okay. I get you. I get you. And he is gonna get the sovereign. Oh yeah. Chaining. Alrighty. Cool. Gonna get the Monk of the Tangy. Cool. Two back row. Okay. He's gonna... Okay. He's gonna get a little boosted. Goes back to the hand. It's all good. It is all good. He has a pretty strong board with a lot of negate. But... It's all good. We have ourselves a Lava Golem that will take care of that real easy. We destroy the back row. And now we Regeki his face off. Oh yeah. We're going to use Numeron Wall to get ourselves the Numeron Network. Activate it. Special Summon our Numerons. Then attack this dude to the face. Alright, it was not an OTK, but it's all good. Because we're going to get ourselves the Mech Knight. Of course, this dude is a pain in the ass. I did not know how much of a pain in the butt this dude was. But I went up against it, and I saw that it was very strong, so I definitely added that to the deck. All right. Ashuna, okay. Monk of Tenyi, that's fine. Oh, he has plays. Okay, Taya. Okay, gets a token. And another token. Okay, let's see what he gets. He's going for the Baxia, of course. Okay. What is he going to do? Okay, gets rid of my Numeron Network. That is all fine. It is all fine and dandy. Alrighty. Alright, let's see. What else? What else? What else does he got? He's still got plays. He's still got plays for days. Okay, another special summon. Link summon into the Shaman of Tanyi. Okie dokie. He's going to pitch the D to Crow. Get the sovereign sovereign back. Okay, and he's gonna attack me, but of course his effect is so good. Holy moly, my dude. <laughs> he surrenders. Honestly, that's what I did when I went up against it. I was like, oh, I'm gonna attack into this dude, you know, it's all good. I did not know his effect was that, but very strong. So let's hop right in to the last match. And for our last match, one second, yet again, we have a pretty Strong hand, full of hand traps, so we are good. Okay, we're going up against Tribe Brigades. Okay. Okay. Get the Robot Unicorn Bunny. It's fine. All right, we're going to DD Crow, the kit. Banish that thing. All righty. But yet, he still was able to throw that to the graveyard. All right, we're going to Ash that bad boy. So the Narval. Okay, Ash that, yes. Oh, and turn. Okay, okay. I like it, I like it. Okay, use the Numeron wall to get ourselves the Numeron network. Activate that back. Boy, you already know the play, you already know the drill. Let's 
go ahead and deal some damage. Of course, it will not be an OTK. Unfortunately, we do get one boost. And we'll just attack him to the face. All right. But he still has 1,000 life left. But again, we're going to get our trusty Mech Knight out. Oh, yeah. Protect the front row, my dude. Protect it. All right. Let's see what this dude's got. Okay, Griffin Rider. Interesting. Gets the kid out as well. Gonna link into the Blossom. Okay. His kit in the graveyard. Okay. The Novell again to draw. Another tribe again. Kiras. Or Kuras. Whatever. Alrighty. He's got place. He's gonna get the Omen. Okay, now at this point. Oh, no way, bro. Are you serious? Okay, we're gonna use gear frame gamma. Oh yeah. We need to get ourselves a little bit of a uh, protection. All right, cancel that bad boy. Oh, he still got plays. He still has the freaking plays. He's gonna get the access code talker. And at this point, I'm pooping my pants because I know what this dude does, and it's insanely, insanely strong. Oof. Oh yeah. He's going to get the boosts. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. Another one, of course. Then he's going to activate his effect to pop my Numeron Network. Okay. And he's going to pop my Gammas. Okay, cool. I basically am dead here. Sick. Okay, but he ends his turn. All right, cool. What do we happen to draw? Literally the top deck of a century, the Time Lord. Oh yeah, crash into that bad boy and take 2,000 damage. That literally saved me. Believe in the heart of the cards because that was the top deck of all top decks. And that is what actually got me into Diamond 5. Holy moly, this thing is insane. So let's hop right in to the deck list. And here we have the deck list, of course. We got the Cyframe Driver. Two DD Crows, three Numeron Walls, which one of them, look how shiny it is. Beautiful. Three Maxis, two Psy Frame Gear Gammas, three Ash Blossoms, two Lava Golems, two Micheons, and then two Sandions. One Regeki, one Harpies Feather Duster, one Terraforming, one One for All, one. Okay, that was so many ones. Lightning Storm, three. Numeron Calling, three. Numeron Network, three two limiter removals this works so well and then two forbidden droplets and three amperms and then of course we have the normal numerons but then i had the number c1 i added two of those sometimes they work out but the play normally is go going for the mech knight for that protection in the front row so let me know what you guys think give this a shot because it's literally the easiest way to get to diamond and i will be climbing up to diamond one on the road to diamond one but if you guys have made it this far and are not subscribed, please do. It helps out the channel a lot. And make sure to join the Discord if you would like to join the awesome community there. We have a lot of uh, subscriber battles and we're trying to do a dual night with the community. I streamed it last Friday and it was pretty fun. So hopefully we get to do that more often. But I hope everybody enjoyed this and I'll catch everybody on the next one. Peace. Peace.